Yo, so what's going on, Battlefielders? My name is Star. We are here playing a little bit of Battlefield 3. Getting my B2K in right now. Playing a little bit with the M27 IR, which is my favorite in the support category. It kind of gives me that assault rifle type feel. is isn't too sluggy and, you know, heavy like the other weapons in the category. So it gives me my, I guess, feel to go ahead and rush around and play the way that I do. It fits my style. Without further ado, -do, I want you guys to get ready. Put your thinking cap on. Because we've got a really in-depth topic to talk about tonight. This topic is really, really cool. I saw it today and I did a little research on it. And I absolutely loved the concept and the idea behind it. And hopefully you guys too. So get ready. Prepare yourself. We're going to talk about this. So get ready to do the noodle dance. Uh, <laughs> internet high five for anyone that caught that reference. But I'm absolutely excited to talk about this. You know, all, all sorts of scientific type ideas always just really really pique my interest and my curiosity um but recently you know i checked something out i heard a, a rumor about something and it was a, a planet that they located that's actually not too far from here it's 42 light years away which it, it makes it sound like it's really really far away but it really really isn't um it's actually so close that some of our modern actually soon to be futuristic uh uh you know instruments that can actually see there can map it out pretty well so it's something that we can locate just fine and it's really not too far away seeing as how one of the other possible habitable planets is like fucking 600 away so this one being so close is really really cool and i like the idea behind it and that's what the topic's going to be is they found a planet that could potentially be habitable for us even more so as it can contain its own life which is really, really interesting to me. I mean, can you imagine there being other life forms out there? I mean, X-Files type shit aside, I'm not about to go all Mulder in this bitch. I'm not about to be Scully in this bitch. But to think about it, what would happen if we actually found a planet that was confirmed? We, we were told that we could actually move there or that there's life there. What would we do? Let's plan this out a little. Let's think about this. This is going to be a long commentary, so let's break this down. First things first. This planet, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It is called HD 40307G. And what makes this planet so nice is the fact that it's really not too far away. But to be completely honest, what's so cool about it is it's set up similar to how our system is set up. There's six planets. I think it's, it's one of the middle ones or the outermost one. But it sits in this zone, which allows it to be almost the same distance that Earth is away from Sun. It sits barely inside of the area where habitable life can be, where water, liquid water can be hosted, which is really, really cool knowing that there could be water on this planet means it's, it's potential to work. But what's even more incredible about it is that it rotates just like the Earth does, giving it the day and night effect, which is another, I guess, leaner, another theory towards the chance for there to already be habitable life there, for another alien life form to be there, even, you know, something that could evolve or, you know, anything like that, germs, bacteria, even possible living creatures similar to us or other creatures that we have, is possible. And I always like the concept of knowing that that could be there. I mean, a lot of people don't. A lot of people have their own theories on uh, you know, how people and creatures and everything like that were created, evolution, God, whatever. But fact is, through science, you know, whether or not God was responsible for us or it was just pure luck and you know, Big Bang or scientific, just completely randomly lucky or whatever it is. It doesn't mean it can't be completely randomly lucky anywhere else. And either way, I mean, however we got here, we got here. But to know that there could be others is still kind of cool. You know what I mean? So I really like the idea behind that. Now, at first glance, I look at it and I'm like, that's cool. That's really, really cool. Then I started to think about it a little bit. I start to think about humankind. I start to think of what kind of people we are. I know we are some greedy, selfish, fucking Justin Bieber-loving, distasteful, weird, ironic, crappy little fucking creatures. That's, that's the gentle side of me speaking right now. Humanity, in, in, in the simplest form, I like certain individual persons, but people as a whole disgust me. What people could do, crime, rape, murder, being greedy... I mean, you see it anyway, whether or not it's business. I mean, you see people cheat their way out of getting popular on YouTube. Imagine what would happen if countries got involved. Can you not think that a, a war is just simply going to break out? We found a planet. Now, this planet is supposed to be seven times the size of our planet. Meaning this bitch is huge. She's got a fatty. I'm telling you, this planet is huge. Now, what makes this so unique in my mind is that... 
I know how humanity is. If there's life forms there, we probably want to naturally try to conquer them. It's happened in history. It's happened in the past. If we don't know something about it, we're probably going to go in there aggressive. We're going to try to take charge, command something. It's what happened. I mean, that's how slavery and shit got out of control, is we feel entitled to take anything that is ours, which is what's going to be the death of us. That's what's going to be so bad when it comes down to, I mean, if a planet has ever discovered that we can be, uh, I guess, able to inhabit it, it's just going to be, it's going to be crazy. Think about it a little bit. You know how things are escalating right now. There's potential war. We're on the brink of war with, like, North Korea here in the America. We're, we're here, uh, you know, we're worried about Iran. I mean, these, these are countries that are generally, I think, um, dangerous to not only just America, but lots of people. I know we're some bullies. I know a lot of people hate America. But imagine, imagine what would happen if we found a planet that's uncharted territory. Everybody's going to want a piece of that. Now, how do you think, I mean, in all honesty, with your faith in humanity, do you think we would ever come down to a reasonable understanding or agreement to separate the land on who owns what? There are countries out there that are really, really small. You think, uh, you know, they're going to get an equal share of land? You think somebody the size of, you know, China and, you know, America, Russia, you know, with, with so many people involved in, you know, inside our countries, you think we're going to give a small country a country our size? You know what I mean? How do you think politics and governments and, and, and you know, armies and everything are going to react to know this? Everybody's going to want to claim this planet as their own, which scares me because I know how humanity is. And it's absolutely just disgusting. It puts a bad taste in my mouth. So at first I was like, this sounds like a cool idea. But then I start to think that if this is true, people are going to try to claim it. You know what I mean? We're going to want to be able to do this. I mean, there may be a couple of people that want to stay here, but at first... I thought it was cool. I'm like, whoa, that's possible resources. We're running low on, you know, fuels, natural things, resources. That's crazy. We're talking about overpopulation for creatures. We're talking about things being extinct, possible new life. The first instinct of that was just that's absolutely incredible. I mean, I mean, limited people. Obviously, old people would not be able to move there. Um, and for it being, I mean, if you think about it reasonably, it being, you know, the se seven times the size of Earth, and if it's set up the way earth is i mean even if it's you know just partially you know 70 percent water or something like that it still leaves a lot of land mass if you think about it if it's still seven times then everybody could have their own their own continents that are pretty much already the size of earth so that'd be like seven earth-sized continents that people can live on which means a lot more space a lot more room i mean lord knows what we could do with that i mean we could take some of our stuff there uh assuming it's not inhabited but you know, I started thinking about that. That's some deep shit to think about, that we could pack everybody up. I mean, it would take 20, 30, 40 years for us to build something to be able to transport, you know, massive amounts of people. And it would take a lot of time to do that. And certain people can't travel in space. I mean, you've got to have a certain body health conditions to make that trip. I'm not saying that everybody would want to leave. So then I started to think, if we found another planet, would I want to leave? This is my home. I mean, do I want to try to make something new over there? Do I want to try to start over? Yeah, I'm not going to pack up all the crackheads and send them over there, you know what I mean? Who's allowed to go? So many things are going to get crazy. you got to think about it. I mean, what would happen if a new planet was discovered? People would fight over it and mine, mine, mine. People would, you know, I, I would honestly, with, with my faith in humanity, I would honestly believe World War Nine would kick off um, because by the time this shit actually comes down and it's verified, it'd probably be around nine. I honestly think that everybody would just start opening, you know, cans of whoop-ass on everybody, nukes exploding everywhere, and we're just going to completely ruin our own race. And I don't think that there could be a diplomatic understanding or, you know, a political view that everybody could understand. I don't think, you know, we'll take this side, you take that side. I don't think it's it. People will fight for resources, fight for what they'll think is yours, and I think war will break out, like heavy fucking war. There aren't going to be any teams it's well, I mean, obviously there'll be allies to do this together. I mean, yeah, there aren't many countries that could solo that would, you know, handle some of these countries that are out there. Um, but if you know a handful of them were to team up, they they could wipe America like it's nothing. But I mean, I really, really don't have faith in people to understand that, and it's kind of sad. I mean, then it got me to thinking. I mean, are we deserving of another planet? I mean, the, just because it's a new planet, does that mean it's a new start? Are we going to go over there and run it into the ground? Are we going to allow crime and issues to be there? Are we going to set up new laws? Maybe create one person's, one people, one language, one currency? What would happen?
Who would be in control? I mean, w w w would it be just okay to let everybody go over there and live off the land or do what they want to do themselves? You know, so many things come into things, but my mind started going everywhere, just expanding like the what ifs, it, you know, the, the, you know, curiosity kicks in and you're like, would I want to go there? I mean, you know, put a little townhouse out there, you know, make it back and forth. It would also, you know, a lot of money and resources. It would, it would be great. I mean, it'd be a good thing to do things. I mean, if it was a small plan, I'd be like, yeah, let's just put all the rapists and criminals all over there. Fuck that. We don't need prisons and systems anymore. Just fucking send them somewhere else and they can all kill each other over there. And, you know, so many things popped up and I don't know. I honestly think, you know, part of me is like, yeah, let's see what's over there. But if it all turns out so great, you know, is that, is that really a good turnout? You know what I mean? So I don't trust people enough to to know that that could actually be a possibility. I definitely do not trust people enough to handle it rationally and and, and balance everything out. I definitely do not. So I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think? Would you re really be willing to leave everything you know behind, take a little ride on the space trip, and try to start over from scratch? Is money and wealth going to factor there? Do you, actors and athletes get their nice fucking mansions on top of the mountain peaks? Or does everybody get a fresh, clean sleep? You know, like, like how would that happen? So leave a comment down below. Leave a few comments if you want to write a story to me. Or even create a video response on this topic. I really want to know what you guys think about it. Um, because I thought it was creative. I mean, to think of, uh, of possible life forms outside of our own is amazing. But to think of another place that we can go to. I mean, you never know if we run out of our own resources. You never know if something's going to go wrong. Or if something life-changing comes our way. Like a giant asteroid field or some shit's going to sweep our planet and just destroy it. You know, having a backup is always good knowing that other planet's there. But if you think we can actually live there and we go there, we test it out, we find out that it's exactly like Earth, but seven times bigger, do you think we're going to be able to make the decision to balance it out and give everybody their own things? you think we can come together as one and create equality and create laws and currencies and balance everything out? Or do you think we're going to have to be separate? I mean, because everybody lives off their own beliefs, whether or not it's religion or something like this. So do you think we could all coexist? And not to mention, if something like that happened, it would really, really crunch a lot of religions. I mean, God has really been known for creating Earth. And, you know, on the seventh day, he rested. Maybe on that seventh day, he went to go create this super Earth that they call HD 40307G. You never know. So it would, it would really, really crush a lot of ideas and opinions on religion and stuff like that. So what kind of impact do you think it would have on our world with finding another planet similar to ours. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this commentary. Um, it's just something to think about. I thought it was a cool topic. I really wanted to share it with you guys in case you missed it. So at the end of the day, I want to thank you guys. Um, I love all the support you guys have been giving me since I've been posting more Battlefield recently. I love it. Remember to leave a like. It helps out a lot, guys.